All right, John here from Feldman Physical Therapy and Performance, and we're coming at you today with our recommendations for how to pick your next running shoe. Um, you know, my advice is going to be a little different than Lincoln's because, well, you know, I only need two shoes and he needs four. So uh, if budgeting is an issue for him, he's going to have to take that into consideration. So, um, you know, we're going to go over some really good details today. Uh, we're not going to get too deep into the nitty gritty. Um, you know, we're going to avoid things like heel toe drop, stack height, weight, upper outsole, mid, you know, things like that. We're just not going to get into that today. What we're going to talk about is when you walk into a store, how do you, you know, handle that overwhelming you know, wall of options for you and what's going to be good for you based on the marketing, what your friends are running in, you know, what so-and-so is telling you, what the best run in the world is running in, you know, um, you know, don't worry about what Elliot Kipchoge or Des Linden is running in guys, you know, they're very different runners. Um, you know, every different runner is going to have very different needs and demands on their body from their shoes. Okay. Even amongst the pro ranks. So, um, you know, we're going to go over some details today. Uh, you know, but first, you know, thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, we really need those. We want to really try and increase our following. Um, you know, so uh, we really appreciate that. But without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it, right? So when you walk into a running store, how do you handle all those options? What do you do, right? Um, first things first, definitely get to a store. Try and avoid buying things online. Uh, you never know how they're going to fit. You never know what quality of product you're going to get. Um, believe it or not, when these things are mass produced, they produce them in different countries, um, you know, different locations, and you know, not all of them are created equal. Um, you know, if I go to Best Buy, um, you know, or you know, Sears or something like that to get a big appliance, sometimes the outside the branding is the same, but the inside the guts are different, right? Um, so I'm just saying that you know, they can be made differently. You also want to be leery of any kind of uh, online sale for a late model shoe. The manufacturers and the companies don't usually provide a lot of discounts on their later models. Um, so you just want to be leery of that, all right? That, that could be the first time that it's a scam or, um, you know, that you might not be getting what you're expecting. So we like getting into a store because you can feel the shoe, um, you can look at it, you can try them on. Obviously that makes a huge difference, okay? This is our only barrier to entry for running. So let's make sure we do it right. So, um, you know, walk into a store, if they have a foot scanner like Fleet Feet Up and Kipsy, um, they have that scanner there for you. So it can kind of help steer you and guide you in the direction of uh, some types of shoes that might work for you and some that might not. And boom, there's your first uh, your first cut right there. You can eliminate some options and narrow in your focus a little bit more, right? So walk around the store, find some ones that are gonna work for you, pick them up, you know, take them off the shelf, feel them, see how they feel in your hands. Um, you know, are they light? You know, do you like the way they feel? Is that upper something that feels good on your skin? Um, you know, something like that. After that, find a couple that work for you. Before you try the shoe on, okay? This is important. Before you try that shoe on, take that insole out, all right? Put that on the ground. That insole represents all the real estate inside the shoe. If this thing captures your foot well, then that's going to be a good shoe for you, right? You want to make sure that your foot's not hanging off either side, um, that this really captures your foot well, because if it doesn't fit well in here, it's not going to fit well in here, all right? So put this back in there if that's a go. Then you want to slip this sucker on, okay? Put it on, see how it feels, lace it up. Do you like to feel the laces? Are they too stretchy for you? Are they too long? Are they too short? For your preferred lacing pattern, um, you know, does the heel fit well around your uh, your foot? You know, does the heel cup prevent any slippage? Right? Um, is anything pressing in here? Are there any hot spots on the top or the sides? Right? Um, those are the things you're gonna want to know. Is there any errant stitching out there that's going on? So, um, if it feels good, walk around. So take a few steps. If they have a treadmill at the store, hop on there for a few minutes. Again, you want to see if this feels good on your foot. It ain't gonna break in, okay? That's that's the problem. A lot of people assume that, oh, it feels a little tight and stiff, but it'll break in once I get some miles in them. My friend said it's a really good shoe. That's a big no-no, all right? This is not gonna break in. If it doesn't fit well and feel comfortable in the store, it's not gonna feel comfortable outside, all right? So it's also gonna change the way you run a little bit. So uh, find a few shoes that work for you. And then once that all works out well, right? It's a shoe that'll work for your foot. You like how it feels, um, the insole fits well, and it feels good on your foot. Bam, pick one in a good color. Make sure that shoe comes in a good color, something that you're gonna like. You know, we love wild colors. Look at these. This is me. Um, you know, I just I just don't like boring shoes. That's just how I go about it. So um, find someone a good color that you like. Does it match your outfit? Is it gonna look good in your race photos? What are you gonna look good in across that finish line? All right. So um, you know, those are some of the, the you know the first things that we like people to be able to do, um, and it really kind of helps narrow it down, right? Like. Don't care what your friends are running in. Don't care what the what, you know the ad, ads say or the website says. You've got to make sure that it's a good shoe for you and it feels really good on your foot. Okay. Um, so th those are really the first few recommendations that we want people to get comfortable with 
um, you know, when, when picking their running shoe. Don't get so bogged down with a lot of the other details just yet, okay? It's, is the shoe gonna fit comfortably on your foot? Which kind of brings us to our last point. Um, this is that last piece of advice that we really like to give people when it comes to picking a running shoe. It shouldn't just be one shoe. A runner should be able to run in any pair of shoes and be efficient at the same time, okay? What that means is when somebody comes into us and says, oh yeah, I've run exclusively in the Brooks Ghost for the past five years. It's the only shoe that works for me. Everything else gives me problems. That's a red flag for us, right? We're gonna circle that, highlight, underscore. The problem's not with the shoe. The problem is with the runner. And barring any kind of anatomical uh, anomalies, um, things that need to get fixed, we're assuming that all other things held equal. Your foot is strong, you have good mobility at the toes and the midfoot, dorsiflexion at the ankle, right? We're assuming every box is checked off. If you still can't run in any other shoe, there's something else going on and we need to address that. The shoes aren't the issues. We want every runner to be able to run in multiple pair of shoes. That's our piece of advice. Every runner should be able to run in multiple pair of shoes without any issues, all right? Um, that just shows that you're well prepared for running in different stresses. Predictability is the bane of most runners. We don't like to be predictable. We don't like to expose our body to the same stresses over and over again. Much like runners who just run at the same mileage, the same pace on the same route all the time, they're not, they're narrowing in their focus. They're making themselves really good at one thing and one thing only and their margin of error is not big. And that leads to risks and that leads to issues down the line. So much like a runner, if you only run in a certain pair of shoes for too long, you're really gonna make your foot good at that and it's not gonna like anything else once you stray away from that. So uh, we find that that's an issue for some of our runners that say, yeah, I run exclusively in this and then my friend told me to get this, so I got that one, I did all my running in that. That's not the way to go about it either. We want gradual changes and exposures uh, to different stresses when it comes to running. Same thing with shoes. But the bottom line is your shoe should be uh, different than the one that you're previously running in, okay? Uh, we want you to have different pair of shoes. These are just some of the ones in my arsenal. Um, you know, Justin and Ashley will probably make fun of me and say that they don't get enough love as they should, but um, you know, I'm getting back into running a lot more now, and uh, I'm enjoying throwing these out there. So uh, these are just some of the ones that I've been running in over the past couple weeks. Um, some other ones that are upstairs yet, but uh, that's our video, all right? Um, you know, to recap, get into a store, find something that worked for you, get it on your foot, and then make sure it's a little bit different than the shoes that you're used to running in, but not too drastic of a change, all right? And you know, that's gonna really lead you to, uh, to some good success. If you have any questions, reach out to us, guys. We wanna know what you're running in. We wanna hear your feedback. Um, you know, are these videos good? Um, you know, do you have any other questions on the, the shoes? And uh, we'll save the nitty gritty details like heel toe drop, stack height, all that good stuff for a different time in a different video. For now, let this marinate. You know, we hope, uh, we hope it helps.